Theory, density of saline solutions, graphing using Microsoft Excel. It looks a little different because I'm sharing my screen right now. I've got Excel up and I've already entered into my data my into Excel my data. You can see that I've entered just numbers here with headings. Uh, that's the, the headings are really to help me keep organized. And uh, in order to make a graph or a plot of our data, I'm going to highlight the data. Let's try that again. Highlight the data that I want to graph. And then there's a couple different ways to do this. Uh, one is, um, one I usually use is go to insert. And then over here, there'll be a picture of, let's try that again, insert. graph. And the graph that you want there is always an XY scatter plot. Uh, and it is always just points, meaning uh, there are lots of ways to do even XY scatter plots, but you're going to choose the one that has just points. And then you're going to click on it and you're going to get your chart. And once you have your chart, it will show your data with axes right here. And um, uh, similar to the axes that you had before, although it picks its own axes. You're going to then want, 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 once your data is there, to go ahead and change the title to molarity versus density for saline solutions. And uh, you're going to want to put labels on your X or titles, sorry. Primary horizontal, we'll start with there. And you can see the add chart elements really allows you to do a lot of these things. Density in grams per milliliter. Delete, 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 delete. Density in grams per milliliter, then add chart elements, axis title for my primary vertical. I'll delete it this time first. Molarity, and that's going to be units of molarity of NaCl. So now I've made my graph. Um, I've actually got uh, two slightly different points here. Uh, let me fix that data point. I had it not round before. Uh, from my with so but now I'm rounding everything to, to proper sig figs shown here And so this plot looks a lot like the plot that I made by hand uh, as far as the positions of the data points uh, I'm going to go ahead and change my top my axes by double clicking on them When I do that it'll bring up a host of options And for example, in the plot that I made by hand, the bounds of my y-axis were zero and two. So I'll change that. And what I did is I double clicked on this axis to make that happen. Here, I double click on my x-axis. And it brings up the options for the x-axis. And I do want my x-axis to go just from 1 to 1.1. Now I'll take a second to update. I think that will update. There we go. 
All right, so now my axes are the same, my units, my labels, my titles. Now it's time to add the trend line. And when you add the trend line, you go to the Add Chart menu, go down to Trend Line. We do want a linear trend line, but we want more trend line options because we want to display some other things. It will automatically pick linear. We are going to scroll down to the bottom or if it's already visible, uh, set a display equation and display R squared value. You can see those appear right here. Those are a little small for me. So I'm going to go to the home. home. And with this section highlighted, if I now go to home and I can increase the font size a bit, The thing about Microsoft Excel is many things, when you click on them, they are editable and they have many options for you to edit. Alignment, uh, different ways of displaying the numbers. You can put shadows on things. You can do a lot of things. I like to keep it simple. And this graph is now finished for molarity versus density. It's got a best fit. In fact, the best fit line should look just like your best fit line that you did by hand. Two points below, two points above. Yes. And that's how you make a graph using Microsoft Excel.